It's called Ibuka Mike Live, the first and the last. Right. It's called? The first and the last. The first and the last. Yeah. If the gospel preached to you was preached to them in Sodom and Gomorrah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Of all the songs were they to welcome a newlywed. Wait till we are not loving you, Naskam. Ebuka <laughs> Mike. Ebuka Mike, when I think about him, he's made two things true. That brilliance and comedy can absolutely be in the same word. Looking at somebody who is just who just looks at everyday relatable things and makes you laugh, puts together intelligent jokes and makes you laugh. And yet it's they are still clean jokes. I mean it's really hard to say Ebuka is an amazing person. I've seen Ebuka walk miracles, you know bring everything from nothing the idea of the first and the last is you know it's the first time i would actually be doing a standalone comedy show normally i like to do collaborative works you know yeah. and it's the last because it's probably the last time i'll be seen at that level at that level yeah, amazing so. i like the way i like your confidence you have this very for me that <laughs> oh. Hi, you can see the curtains are closed, I'm about to go up. Yay! Do amazing stuff. Yay, yay. Hear your prayers, thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Ebuka Mai! Thank you very much. Good evening, everybody. Those of you that did not see that, that did not stand up, I don't understand. Do you understand? Good evening, everybody. It's been a nice night. Um, I said this show was the first and the last. I want to go straight into it. No time. Have you? So, ah uh ah. -uh. people say there is time. Actually, I have 95 tomorrow, so. <laughs> people that are still doing this work, fine, can't find work. Up. <laughs> Anyways, so they are creative. Let me not jump. So, anyways, when I think about. <laughs> and that joke hit home. Okay, so when I think about the first, you know, my mind goes back to the first performance. You know, we know they count secondary school. You don't count relationships in secondary school. So I just skip to university. I see you guys in the house. Are you there? Uh, Covenant taught me many things, honestly. Covenant taught me many things. The first thing Covenant taught me was be yourself. Don't jump on any trend, just be yourself. Remember that time when I was in the first year, 100 level? There's this trend that used to happen back then. You know, this thing that ladies like to spell things out? Like, guy, did you see when Ibuka came out? He was so hot, as in hot, H-O-T, hot. <laughs> guy, the show was mad, as in mad, M-A-D, mad. <laughs> guy, look at the ambience, everywhere is so cool, as in cool, C-O-O-L, cool. So the thing was the trend, but no be everybody savvy spell. <laughs> I remember one babe that time, she, she was like, hey, my best food, my best food is spaghetti bolognese. Bolognese, bolog. <laughs> I like yam, Y-A-M. <laughs> be yourself. Number two thing Cover had taught me, I won't lie to you, was the hypocrisy in religion. Forget. For example, when you see you, there are three capital offenses. Three capital offenses, just three. Number one is examination malpractice. It's the first one. If you do it, it's expulsion street. Number two is what we call, uh, if you have theft, if you're a thief. <laughs> uh, theft, that's the, that one, you know the expulsion. And number three is anything related to sex. 
whether na pornography or whether you actually do amo, you think amo, anyhow. <laughs> Expulsion. To the point that even music videos, there's some music videos you have today. If you have them on your laptop, then that was classified as pornography. So pornography is capital offense. At the mention of pornography, every knee in Covenant bows. <laughs> but I had a roommate one semester, this guy they watch. <laughs> Forget this guy they watch. You know people that they watch they watch it and they watch end credit. <laughs> How deep this guy was. Guy knew everybody, knew the awards. So I always why they pity the guy. The guy eyes. Like, <laughs> so I pity the guy. I said, so we're not coming at now church school. Somebody would snitch. Say they are watching in that. So one day they came, four white bosses, sixteen men in black suit. <laughs> All of them had purple ID card. They walked into our hall. They held the mic that we see our peace system. Attention in this hall. We have been informed that there are pornographic content in this hall. Now we will be searching room to room. May the Lord help you in Jesus' name. Because you know coming out now, see people they throw in my book. I don't want to go home. <laughs> I don't want to be expelled. I'd rather destroy this laptop than destroy my academics. But this guy, they were coming. This guy was still confident. I said, bro, they are coming. I said, they are coming. I said, no, they are coming. They were in the next room. This guy was still, just managed to close a few tabs. Entered into the room. So you know that kind of you are panicking for another person. God <laughs> wants to explain, say, if they watch and me, I they watch and me. So I just panic. I say, God. So they enter, they say, you bring your laptop, not me. I bring my laptop. They checked it. Type X, type program files, everywhere they hide out. <laughs> Corporates don't they laugh about it. They check out, check out, check out. Oh, this guy is free. They say, you, come. This guy boldly carried this. They swear for this guy. What's happening? The guy dropped his laptop. Say, uh, on the whole laptop, only one folder, videos. What <laughs> <laughs> did they happen? The guy first said, uh, why? I didn't know that this guy had saved his stuff with, you know, sermon titles. <laughs> so as you just open the videos, you just see another folder, inspirational messages. 256 gig. <laughs> I said, is your father a pastor? He said, you understand. What's not annoying me is he was saving the title so that he can he can kill himself. He can know what he wants to. You can see a title like How to Come into Divine Destiny. <laughs> Understanding Divine Turnaround. Exploring the secrets <laughs> of success. The guy was the guy said, Wow, wow. I've never heard these messages. Give me my hard drive. Give me my hard drive. <laughs> Collected everything. The next day, only the guy came, who gave me this? <laughs> came straight to the room. Why is he? Hold my neck. Why is he? <laughs> See how we are gone. As the guy entered inside the room, check. Are you the one that gave me this? He said, yes. I've had the last two videos. No sir, come. No sir, no sir. <laughs> Number three thing. Number three thing I learned in Covenant is the evolution of love. I witnessed it firsthand. Forget this my singleness. Give me any reason. Yeah, I saw as love evolved. This thing that we're saying, the bar of entry into relationship is too high for men. It's men that cost it for men. We're the ones constantly raising the bar for ourselves. I remember when I was in SS3, I couldn't wait to go to university to play uni love. <laughs> remember I watched one time during visiting day, it was, what, what did it take to impress a girl then? Flower, plastic flower, and card. Or sometimes you could just do handmade card. Babe will love you. I remember one time, one guy on his, on his babe's birthday, his babe's birthday, do you know what he gave her? He just sent her a video where he was dancing. <laughs> you can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. <laughs> See, they say, oh, even girls, some people broke up with their boyfriends that time because their boyfriend did not dance. <laughs> I was long, me, I don't do perfect my steps. And I enter on red level, I would do my own. As I entered on red level, they just one idiot just rose the bar up. The guy bought cake. 
after I don't ready my video. Just bought cake for his own babe. One of us that were holding flower, that looked like flower boys at their wedding. And you know that's why Rio said, you know before, that time when it was flower, uh -uh, men, they love women, uh, they valued women. That time it was the little things that really counted. They valued women now. That time there was nothing like side chick. No, guys, they get like three babes, but the three of them will be main babes. No side chick, everybody in a main babe. But as cake enter, things come this point. You know, you can't eat your cake and have it. Just, so everything just started getting useless. I remember in 300 level, I'll never forget. One 18-year-old boy bought MacBook for his babe. After people don't buy cake. <laughs> bought MacBook. MacBook! What, what, what will make me buy MacBook for a mere mortar? What, what, what exactly? No, before I buy you Mac, I want to know what's your CGPA. Because it's no longer a gift, it's a grant. MacBook. I, I wonder what will be happening there now. Maybe for the time, the one boy will just call with envelope. Behold my father's will. <laughs> you, think, you think young people turning gays because of na phones? Phones no day. Learn it first. Uh, you know, when you in C, we are made to believe that, you know, life just works. You know, we're taught that everything is going to be all right. There's no mountain anywhere. You can be whatever you want to be. You can achieve whatever you want to achieve. You know, you know those messages now. We thought everything was okay. Or more. You know, we so forget. Ah, learned it firsthand. I, as I am now, I pity the, I'm pitying the kids that are growing. You know, remember during COVID, there was uh, everybody they bring all those laws, masks, all those things. So during COVID, I was at the mall. Before, just before lockdown, they, don't, they have announced that we're going to lock down. No? Everybody, we're going to lock down. So people were stocking up. Do you know that I got to? The more. So I saw a mother, she was educating her daughter on the new rules. She was like, hey, Tara, you know, there's a new virus in town, COVID-19. Things are no longer the same as before. There's a new normal. You can shake people. I just didn't listen. I'm just, because the thing was interesting me. He said, now you can't shake people. All you do is left elbow, right elbow. Can we do it together? The baby said, yes. Left elbow, right elbow. Yeah, you got it. Give me a high five. <laughs> Child, don't confuse. You know, it's only in this country that they will change your dreams. Nigeria changes your dreams. You see a little boy, you say, what do you want to be when you want to go? I want to be an astronaut. Nigeria was it for a year. <laughs> are, you, are you playing? That guy will grow up, he'll become an Uber driver. From reaching for the stars to begging for five stars. You don't, this is just make any sense. <laughs> and you know, Forget to, they say I have work. Yes, I have work. But my first experience into work life was terrible. Terrible, it was internship. Guy, forget, there's no internship in Nigeria. <laughs> Let me just tell you, what you have is industrial training. <laughs> training for the industry. <laughs> People, victims, they laugh. <laughs> because, let me tell you, abroad, internship, tell you gain much needed work experience. Industrial training, you experience much unneeded work. Those guys, they would rather die than give you what you studied in school. You owe me information, communication, engineering, about to be graduate. They send me the Bayamala. Ah. I would have known from the first day. I would have known from the first day. From the first day, I would have known. They were introducing everybody that resumed. They say, hey, meet John. Those guys were full staff. Me, I was the intern. He said, meet John. John is the new HR guy. Anything payroll, HR, just meet John. Everybody say, hi, John. He said, hey, meet James. James is the new software developer. Anything front end, back end, meet James. Everybody say, hi, James. Me, I don't be happy. Hi, Ebuka. He said, hey, meet Ebuka. He's a new intern. Anything, anything. Just meet Ebuka. <laughs> My was even better. There's another of our guys, building tech, building technology. Building technology. This guy, after going four years, came out. What was he doing? He was teaching PhD. He will be Atama. Atama. Nasaraiwa. What's the relationship between PhD and building tech? Oh, he's a bodybuilder. <laughs> Crazy stuff, I'll tell you. 
And you will not know how bad the sin is until you actually start job searching yourself. There's some people you begin to value. First of all, if you are a HR here, I just want to tell you, God will really punish you. <laughs> yeah, because those guys, I don't know. At my last job, yeah, I think they just called me. I was, I was happily, I finally found work. They said I have a query to answer that I was using, I was spending work hours on social media. Sounds reasonable, right? Yeah. Like corporate man, sounds like a reasonable thing. But I was the social media manager. <laughs> You can't retweet on Excel. How will I do it? <laughs> do you know that? Do you know that? When I looked for job, eh, looked for job, looked for job, there is a set of guys that some of you that have been unemployed for a while, you will know about <laughs> CV writers. How many of you know CV writers? <laughs> Those guys, the biggest scams on earth. They don't have job yet. They convinced us that they can give you your CV, get your CV to get you a job. Never forget. I used to see that. I used to ignore it. But you know, there's the way they'll be rejecting. You'll be seeing the rejection mail. You start thinking you're under a course. Maybe I'm. Maybe it's me. And it's, you know, these companies they've got you so creative. When they want to reject you, they don't reject again. Back in the day, you have been rejected. You just know. Now they, they even use lines. It's not you. It's us. <laughs> we don't have room. My brother is me. Once he writes like that, I promise Stanley I won't call his name. <laughs> I said Stanley. Sorry. So Stanley. So this was Stanley. Stanley, we always post it. Revamp your CV. Get your dream job. What could be hindering you is not your degree. It could be your CV. What's the use of skills if you don't have a good CV? <laughs> Every day I would ignore him, but there was one day they rejected me. The girl will always be posting testimony. Status can't be like Shiloh. <laughs> they say, ha, ah, bro, after I, after I, you know, I've been job searching for five years. I just said I should give you a trial. After I give you my CV. Do you know since last week, 50 interviews. I want to look like, ah, ah, just like that. So I, I decided to pay. I paid the guy for the revamp. The guy, first of all, their rate is in dollars. Do you know? For work where I no get. I'm unemployed. Their target market is the unemployed. Yet their rate is in dollars. I say, ah, ah, 30 k on top job where I no sure. Say, I go get. But I just, I just sent my receipt. So the guy just arranged it. I even think say my two one will turn to first class. You know, by the time it's done, he sent it back to me. You know, the annoying thing now is that even before I send the CV, they don't they reject me. You know, as I was about to click, they say, we know what you are thinking. <laughs> There's no space. But one day I was so angry, I felt so used. Because every day I go, the CV, they testify. And me, my state is worse. I just, one day I just messaged him. He said, Stanley, I've been job searching for five years. But as I sent your CV since last week, Hundred interviews. Not be only me go be the fool. <laughs> and that person we pay too. Can't, can't die alone. Honestly. Then the worst one. Some of you, some, you guys are young. Some of you know. They say if you're looking for a job, go to a networking event. They say you meet other people that will network and rubbish. I will leave from Lakwa, come to Ikoi for networking event. Those guys are so rude. After they are, you hey, hi, what's your name? Huh? The next question they ask you, what do you do? Bold of you to assume that I do anything. You do not even ask, how did I come? You know, as have I eaten? You say, you say, what do you do? You know, one day, like, I don't learn a scope. I learned a scope. Instead of saying, instead of saying what, like, because you don't do anything now, say what you plan to do. So I said, when they come, I say, yeah, I actually, I'm, I'm planning my transition. You know, that word, they always work. <laughs> During my transition, they say transition, oh, yeah, I'm transitioning into tech. Anytime I say that thing, it always turn the conversation. They always want to, oh, here's my card. I was once like you. I can almost see numbers where I get. St founders of startup. They just want to help me start up too. <laughs> Do you understand? Transition into tech. So it was always working. I go, yeah, I'm transitioning into that. Transitioning into one day, and I went for another one. See, they don't, they don't they call me their guy. Hey, because the guy that is transitioning into tech. <laughs> so they don't ask you, okay, oh, you're transitioning into tech. 
Okay, transitioning from what? <laughs> I did not rehearse that part. What am I transitioning from? It's an unemployment. Or <laughs> transition, transition. Seriously, and you know, but now I have a job, right? I have a job, yeah, I have a great job. I'm a tech bro, actually. I finally transitioned. Yeah. yeah. I have a great job. And I'm not saying it because of my colleagues are here, all right? I'm not just saying it because my colleagues are here, but I have a great job now. I love my job. Job way. When I came, they say they give us lunch every day. And they want me to work from home. <laughs> what is that all? <laughs> Resume every day, weekend, just to eat. Can't forget. I love my job. And, you know, I, 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 I'm about to enter the real reason, because I'm just laying the foundation. The real reason why I gathered you people here was to talk about my love life, because it's becoming a thing of concern to my parents, to me, those around me, you know. I've been asking myself, why am I really single? Have you ever failed at something so much that you start observing patterns, you know? How many of you, failures in the house? <laughs> Failed at something so much, I started observing patterns. I'm like, <laughs> you would understand what I'm talking about. I'm like, I said, what is going on? Is it me? I'm tired of talking stages. Too many. Fa if anybody should ask me, tell me about yourself again. I'll actually bite you. <laughs> Honestly, I'm tired of it all. Sitting back there, you know. And I noticed something. Do you know that if I, if I start talking with a baby, we start talking stage now. This is facts, tested, proven. Two months later, the babe travels to UK. I'm not joking. London, to be precise. Come and I say my body now. Visa house. You know? <laughs> if we just if we just get talking, two months, I promise you, two months you are out. I know pain is that I always one baby is one of them is here. Yeah. Yeah. I always tell the last babe, the next babe, what the last babe did, that hey, I want to do this, but I've noticed that two months you will leave me. Do you know say really? <laughs> well, with one now, with one now, by the grace of God. We passed the two months. Yeah, I actually had to do something. I went to her house. So when I went to her house, I just, I stole her passport. <laughs> so now we go there together. She doesn't know. We go there together. She goes, say, I'll never leave you. I say, I know. <laughs> we did. <gay. laughs> we did. Oh do you know that? Do you know that? But when you are single, your, your eyes is clear. <laughs> Let me educate you. I've observed. Because I've... I say, is it me? Is it them? What is happening? First thing I noticed, the reason why I'm still single is because I say too much of the truth. Sure, women love lies. All the guys that are here, all the guys that are here, how many of these babes that you have now, plus the one you came with, that you toasted, you told them the truth and they agreed for you? Raise up your hand. How many of you? Even those ones, the guy is lying for the babe. <laughs> Imagine I beg the raise up hand for the guy. <laughs> no, it, seem, it seemed to me that the only guys that got to lie with babes were the guys that lied to babes. That's what it seemed. Facts. I'm, 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 I'll, I'll be honest with you. That's what it seemed to me. And I can prove it. I can prove it. What's your name? <laughs> Why did they look back now? What's your name? EJ. EJ. Uh, you guys are What's your name? I wish it be happen now. Steve. Because the camera day of you say we're not together. <laughs> you don't know when this video will go. We are not together. So Steve and EJ, just imagine Steve and EJ, they are dating. They are in love. And you know women have just two hobbies. You know now. Number one is to what? Suspect. <laughs> they are so creative. Oh, he came back from work. He didn't sweat. That means he had his bath somewhere. And you know, women, they don't suspect. They suspect threat too. Don't, don't think women suspect everybody. They know who they are suspecting. You think that your baby is free? She, 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 my girl doesn't mind if I'm with other girls. No. She know who to suspect. If you cheat on her with those ones, she will not be heartbroken. She will just be disappointed. But you get the one way you go cheat on her, she will be suspect. They know the threat. I can put it to you. You know that Steve, as you are like this. With, let's imagine. This is not imagination. <laughs> Two of you guys are dating. Do you know that you can be on a video call with a 68-year-old woman called Mama Shade? That's Mama Shade is on the call. She's even video call. She's telling you, oh, Mommy Steve, you know I really love you. 
It's been long. When will you come and see mommy? Do you know she will not suspect anything? She don't have nothing to come out for this one. But if you get a text on Instagram from Sandra underscore XOXO, <laughs> not because she talked much, she just said, hey. Then this is your babe, check her profile. She see model, influencer, Sagittarius, a real vibe. <laughs> I don't know you are cheating. You are a cheat. So just imagine like that. You should already, you know, babes are in a constant mode of suspicion, constantly suspecting. So she just, one of those days. You know the amazing about love? Eh? Man, the laws of justice are you are innocent until proven guilty. For a relationship with babes, you are guilty until you can prove <laughs> that you are innocent. Baby, don't talk to me anymore. She just accused you. No evidence. So now you go come they bring look at this chat now. But I called you last week. Now you go they bring evidence. So she just woke up. Ah, this relationship is too boring. Steve, you are cheating. <laughs> so you started wrong. You're looking. You know, you can't want to have you know, men, we like to introspect. Um, have I really cheated? <laughs> so men know they know again. No. Have I cheated? What have I done? And all of a sudden, you are coming to meet your babe. You come to meet EJ. You are driving. She lives in the Kati. You're coming from Lekki. You're on Admiralty Way. You're driving. All of a sudden, from afar, you see that Sandra. Sandra is standing beside her car like this. Probably the car is bad. You know her. She saw you. And you saw her, but you wanted to just do it as if you didn't see her. You wanted to speed off. As you're about to speed off, she calls your name. Steve, Steve, help. <laughs> so you, you just park. As you park, you come down. Hey, Sandra, what's happening? Say, my car, I don't know what's happening. What's the time? This is almost 11 p.m. Well, can you order an Uber? I say, you know the stories now. I can't just order an Uber by this time. Can you take me home? <laughs> because of you're a gentleman, Steve. You know Sandra, so you enter. Is it where I know they say, <laughs> are you even joking? <laughs> you never even hear the end of the story. So you, you know, you carry her home. You say, where do you live? You think it's just close by. She says she lives in a gay gay. You say, hey, gay gay, what are you doing here? <laughs> drive, 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 drive. When you reach her gay gay, reach her house, her door. She's like, Steve, it's, it's like 1, 1 a.m. Don't you want to come in because of you love EJ? You say, no, I have to go and see my babe, EJ. You said, you know, you don't really know the time, but when I go argue back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but you don't go enter, you will turn back. The time now is already 2.30, you're like, EJ already be sleeping, let me come tomorrow. You know, if you text that thing, that baby, I couldn't make it, something came up. People are like, what came up? What part of you came up? <laughs> like, no, 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 you're like, EJ, it's not what you think. EJ, I'm clean. You know when men are clean, they come clean. Say, check everything. Is it Sandra? Check our chat. As you just give her your phone. Sandra text. Thank you for last night. You were so sweet. Say the truth. I double dare you. Tell her the truth. Never believe you. You mean, you have to lie at that point in time. Say, who hacked my phone? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you have to lie. I swear. I know that, you know, as I grew, I started growing up, I discovered that it's not that women, it's not that they like lies. No, it's not that they love lies. They don't actually love lies. It's just that women love to feel good. No, they know you are lying. Women are very smart. They know when a man is lying to them, but the urge to feel, on the scale of actions, a lady will prefer to feel than to think. She go think and feel, and the feeling be like crack. They have to just, <laughs> just have to feel good. This is bad for me, but... <sighs> I have to feel good. Now crack. Babes don't they laugh. They say, why do you know us so well? <laughs> I crack. Why do you think our useless lines work on them? Lie with smelling, smelling lines. That is obviously a lie. Man go meet babe, say, baby just spent two weeks. Say, you know, I don't I try to put my finger on what's different about you. Whether it's your eyes, your smile, your body, what I think is your soul. Two weeks. The babe will take it. How can he see my soul? But I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. And then, even church girls, I'm a pastor, I'll tell you. Church girls. You just meet church babe. Random thing. They cannot resist the urge to feel good. I say, hey, 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 hey there. 
you know, I was just studying the Bible and I just thought, God thinking, why did why would Solomon marry seven hundred wives? And I figured he never met someone like you. She go raising him, he doesn't make the ball. I just have to take it. And when men know this, they will have peace in their relationships. You have peace because all she wants is to feel good any time, any day. You know, sometimes they go even conjure situations to feel good. Everywhere can be peaceful and quiet. Babe, if I was a cockroach, would you love? It's just to feel good. She knows that she's not a cockroach. But men, they like to think. Women don't want you to think. They want you to make them feel good. They just want to feel good. That's what they want. To what? Feel good. You, your relationship will be better. Because sometimes they set trap for you because you think they want to hear your thoughts. Because the end it is, what do you think? My brother, the wise in your life. You don't want to hear your brother. Oh, babe, I don't know. This dress we bought the other day, it's getting tighter. I feel like I'm adding weight. What do you think? And you want to think? You want to think? I don't think, oh. I know, but sometimes I can give you I can give you a hug, guys. You know you can always say what you actually feel if you end it with making them feel good. But you say, oh, baby, I'm adding What do you think? Say, yeah, you're actually adding weight. You don't really look you, but in the right places. <laughs> she goes, it doesn't make the ball. Crack! <laughs> you have to take the crack. Anything, you can come out of any quagmire as a man if you just end it with making them feel good. Babe, I sent you so many texts last night. I even sent you voice notes. You read them, you played the voice notes, but you did not respond. My brother, you can, you can get out of that situation. <laughs> just take the phone. Anytime you see man, when you just do like this, press the voice note to woman. <laughs> He's about to lie on the phone. <laughs> lie like never before. Yeah. You go, no, guys, now sometimes you go to talk with your guy. Hey, hey, chill. That chill. <laughs> What calibrates? <laughs> yes. Yes. <coughs> See. Yeah, babe. Uh, yeah, I acknowledge that I actually ignored your message. <laughs> acknowledge. <laughs> this guy not the lamb. <laughs> See. Acknowledge that I actually ignored your messages. I you know. But I just. What I wanted to say is that yesterday when I heard the VNs, I was just like, I mean. Why talk when I can listen to you all day? The babe, she go here, man. Crack! <laughs> you have to take the crack. Any situation. Just want to what? Feel good. And it's because of men and women are distinctly different. See me, I don't date the sidelines. I've studied. Observe what you can't have. Stop it. Do you know that? But totally different. Women assurance feel they feel they shoot gun for you. Everybody they run, babe, they fear. You cannot hold up. Babe, I'm here. You know she go actually believe, say you day here. <laughs> Women are amazing. Your rights don't expire. You go tell the babe say, more. the landlord, I'm like, I don't have any money for the rent, man. I don't think I can. You know, babe, look, you say, Are you serious? She don't already the fear, just hold about will be all right. She will actually believe so when I go to all right. <laughs> Men are not like that too. Try them now. Maybe your boyfriend don't lose in job. Come home and say, we'll be all right. You say, how? <laughs> ah. See, I'm a professor in this thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, men suffer from what? Because I know too much. That's why I'm single. Go on with the man. I'm like, you did why me? And I'm, because I'm, I'm actually a good person. If not, I feel just they make them, they feel good, they go. No, we think they dare. I feel make you feel good now. I have the power. It's given unto me. <laughs> but yeah. Men and women, I told you, distinctly different. Because there are syndromes we both suffer. You know, a man suffers what we call positivo synomical syndrome. You need to jot this down. It's going to help you. <laughs> positivo synomical syndrome. Women, they suffer what we call negativo Synomica syndrome. What does it mean? Positive synomica syndrome means that a man will always see the positive in every situation. That he is negative. <laughs> but a woman will always see the negative in every situation that is positive and negative. <laughs> I put it for example, as you did now, senior man, maybe you just, your big bed, you're a busy man, you well to do, oracle. Guys, as not just day, you just get one small baby with the parole. 
Maybe you will love him, truly. Let's imagine. <laughs> Let's imagine. She actually won't love him. So you love the babe. So I bet they can't come. You know, can't do anything because actually you did not remember. You were so busy, you didn't remember. It happened to guys. We're not good with dates. You know, you didn't remember. You know what the babe will say? Oracle, you mean you forgot my birthday? Man is like, forgot. That's too harsh. It's like I saw the birthday in my mind. I said, I won't take it. That's too harsh. Man rather say, it skipped my mind. Maybe that I put them about by itself. It what? Skipped my mind. Man will say, you lied to me. Lied to you? That's too harsh. She's the devil that lies. How was I to know? That, that place was a strip club. I know I told you it's the office because people walk there. I didn't know. This is what that ladies will die on, the hill they will die on. People will look at you and say, Aki, you cheated on me. Why is I cheated on you? That's too harsh. You know what cheating is? Cheating is when I rob you of your allocated share and resources. But if I'm giving you allocation and finding some extra to give other people, I'm not cheating, I'm efficient. <laughs> Some ladies are like, this guy is such a fool. That's why you are single. But the guys are like, oh, but this guy was. This guy was. Ah, forget to. I don't study this piece, study this piece, study this piece. Um, as a person, I'm even tired, man. Read the whole stuff. And for me, to be honest with you, uh, I feel like uh, as a pastor, you know. Let me sit down for this one. Uh, the final reason why I'm single. I had the major talking about me, <laughs> derogatorily. Um, I'm actually a virgin, that's true. But not for the reasons he stated. <laughs> that's not true. A few people have walked in on me naked and you know, they will testify to the goodness of God. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I can't believe I'm defending this thing. <laughs> But he, he, he did say something that is true about the whole virginity P. Yeah, I'm, I'm a Christian, right? I believe I be. But even that one, the nine time we did now, Pastor's Day. <laughs> <laughs> nine time now. Things they occur, you understand? <laughs> but I don't, I'm, I'm like getting too popular to try. You know, most of the guys that are here, my friends, they tried, they even, they didn't try really, they tried for them, you know. We were like D-Major 6. The <laughs> Kaite don't do her thing, you understand? <laughs> but for me, I, I never had that opportunity <laughs> you know, to be, so I, I know, I know. Are, are you with me? Can I, is this a safe space? <laughs> to be like gist. I remember one time I was on Twitter, space of 2,000 plus people. And they do the space, one day, they say, it's a safe space, just keep it there. <laughs> you know, I'm just, Oman, I'm just, I'm thinking to myself, you know, one of the reasons why I can't try now, even aside my values, you know, I don't they get too popular. I'm growing fast, you know, and I know that, I know that the first time, the first time I will not, go, I'll be excited. I won't really, you know, I won't do well. You understand? Um, so, but so that's why you must be inside marriage so that we are stuck <laughs> yeah, until I perfect. You understand? So I know that the first time, <laughs> just you know. So what they call the fear me now on the headlines? You know? Star block, you just maybe you go surprised say if you did star block worthy until the thing happen. <laughs> Fast rising comedian. Last just put any number of seconds. I'm not even afraid of the headline, I'm afraid of the comments. <laughs> Stand up comedian, we know if he perform. <laughs> when he finish, did he say that's my time? <laughs> And to be honest, I'll tell you, this guy, that degree. <laughs> outsider perspective, eh? As a virgin, let me tell you about what my outsider perspective from my friends. 
emphasis on my friends. Not my friends, my acquaintances, actually, because these guys, I don't know, the ladies here, is it you guys or is it the guys? Sex don't turn. I thought it was a pleasurable something. If you see where guys, they prepare for this thing. <laughs> Even jump, they don't prepare. You see, guy, they cack up like Iron Man. He's just dressing up. Do you know that? Do you know that? If you tell a man, any man in this place, if you tell him and add the end thing to say, it will make you last. You know, say the man go reason up. So, you know, say, you know, say if you carry, so two guys, you know, say if you carry two, three times before you go, it will make you last. You know, it's a lie. If you say that those carry two, that is one, two, three. Anything. I, I met one guy one time, he was mixing, see what guys are mixing? Mixing bullet and codeine. <laughs> Why you can't call the name now? <laughs> <laughs> Bullet and codeine. I like, bro, these are two conflicting substances. This one makes you fast. This one makes you slow. You guys say, uh, uniform speed. Voila. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, it's like that. I don't do I just wait. I was, uh, find one unfortunate girl. <laughs> I'm married. We are trapped. You expect it much, right? <laughs> that guy, you, see, you see, these men, oh, this bullet I go dig where I talk, one guy go try him. You know, uniform speed, uniform speed. It's true, she complained, yeah, uniform speed. I hear that, uh, like I said, most of them said I'm a pastor, actually, I'm a pastor, yeah? Yeah, and. The comedy and the pastor, they clash sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Sometimes I'm just doing, I say, no, no, no. Like, for example, you don't notice it for this performance. I don't, they do like that, they preach sometimes. I'll catch myself back. Sometimes I go to church. <laughs> I'll just say, get one man. I say, hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> so come back, let's always get one man. <laughs> it's in the class, I won't lie to you. Even, even when I'm reading my Bible, I could just imagine scenarios we know they necessary. <laughs> I could just remember and say, ah, so what if, for example, Easter was just last week. I was reading Matthew 16 when Jesus is telling disciples, he said, I'm going to die for you all. And so Peter called on one side, say, Master, you won't talk like that. Far be it from thee, O Lord. And what did Jesus say straight to him? He looked him in the eye, he said, Get thee behind me, Satan. Well, Jesus know why he don't get female disciple though. Because if he had a female disciple, maybe Petra. <laughs> Petra now. And he just told her that, um, so I'm going to die for the sins of the whole world. And Petra will come call him and say, Master, you won't talk like that now. And Jesus will just look at her and say, get thee behind me. This is verse 23. Google it. Say, get thee behind me, Satan. Verse 24, go deal. <laughs> Tell us me that as you go to Satan, because of what? Because say I won't help us do. Oh, all these men. <laughs> In a clash. Even I said when I read my Bible, sometimes I just say, God help me. Because jokes just they jump out of the thing, you know. You know, there's a reason why the Bible was first translated in the King James Version. Because you know, there's something about KJV that makes God sound like God. Do you know? Have I not commanded thee? For I'm with thee, with us, whoever thou goest. Only be strong and courageous. If you hear him, go say, mm. How many of you read God with bass voice for your head? <laughs> KJV makes God sound God. I just imagine if the Bible was first translated into pigeon first. God would that sound too aggressive. It would sound like a joker, you know. Imagine that same scripture. I find not commanded. You know, sometimes when you the fear, when you say you the fear, you call up your Bible and say, I never tell you. <laughs> nah, me, nah, me. They go. <laughs> very, very unassuring. <laughs> you know, sometimes even in church, Pastor Godos come. You know, open to Galatians chapter 6, verse 7, because someone read that for me. Somebody will stand up. And it says, Be ye not deceived, for God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sow it, that shall he. Rip. After you hear that, you do. Mm. A KJV effect. 
Imagine the same thing. PG. <laughs> Can you just see the Can somebody read? And it says, <laughs> May nobody want you. If you do any, uh, you sound like so aggressive. Come in, they fight. You see, he's struggling with me. Like, I just, oh God, help me, help me. Sometimes people go come to us, they will lie to us. You go one day sarcastic. You know, as a pastor, you feel no even get good relationship because the kind of messages you go to receive. One day, I just imagine if I actually, I'm actually married now. One day, I got the text around 1 a.m. from one lady. Say, Pastor, my chest. I need you to lay hands on me. You know? Imagine that my wife read that text. She will believe in administration. What? What? So the things that we face. You know, people will even they, they lie to you. I remember, I remember a story I had one time. We were about to do one program. And so we tra- I said, oh, my card is not here. Who can I transfer to? This guy that knew he was a Yahoo boy. He said, Pastor, use my account. He said, be as a man. I called Saint. <laughs> Send, at that time, the money had was 30k. Sent it to this guy. Program was supposed to deceive me. I said, we reached ATM card. He said, insufficient for I said, what does that mean? Let's go inside the bank. So the bank said, they can't do because this account is on lane. I said, what does that mean? He said, he has been used to do fraud. I said, brother, but you didn't say, it's not my account. I said, but now use your name as a man. You know, sometimes people, when they lie to you, you know they are lying to you. As I'm doing this morning, as I'm doing. We will see the city oil. <laughs> but like the Lord Jesus, you just mm, take it. No go vex. No go too. And there's one that is even, and even crazy times. There's one time I was like in, I was going to buy fuel. That first cast the last year. Eh? So I was going to buy the fuel. So my food started buzzing. Vroom, 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 vroom. I said, what did happen? It unlikely source, I saw the name that was calling. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I ignored it because everybody was angry with foil. After I bought the foil, I saw the guy had dropped like three WhatsApp messages for me. Quick succession. Hey, Buka. <laughs> I need a man of God. I said, no, you know, you have a man of God, have you? He said, my grandfather. I said, really, what happened? I texted. said, say he suffered a stroke this evening. He was rushed to the hospital. So me, I, I saw him. I, said, I asked him, what happened? How old is he? Says 87. Like, why are you surprised? Like? 87 stroke. I mean, anyways, different strokes for different folks. But, anyways, as he was there. But as I make the joke, I remember, oh, Pastor, you're a pastor. You should not be joking with this. Right there at that door. I said, just remember, I said, Pastor, the oil. The grease just came. See, see, Bessie, we go go here. You see, if I hear. <laughs> But seriously, I know the one the guy is in this show. I just felt, uh, I knew, immediately I knew what happened to that man. Right there at the gate, I just prayed. The next day, the guy texts me, say, Buka, thank you so much. My father is back from the hospital, now he's well, he's fine. Woo. That man celebrated his 87th birthday, I believe, on the 2nd of April. I can't imagine, this is the humor of God, you know. Why would you leave put so much power in the words of a guy that talks so loosely? <laughs> you know? I can't repeat my friends. What I did, I'm just like, hey, you are a fool. You don't become fool like that. <laughs> you know? Jeez. Seriously, they come, they check my words. <laughs> ah, you are a bastard. <laughs> uh, daddy has gone. You have <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I you know, say, you know, say, church people, church people, forget, I mean, church people judge more than the world people know. For example, I mean, some people know me as a comedian. They didn't know I was a pastor. They found out I was a comedian first before they found out I was a pastor. Some people found out I was a pastor first before they found out I was a comedian. People that found out I was a pastor first, maybe they knew me as Pastor Ibuka. I don't they lay hands on them. <laughs> they default, things they happen. Now what did you see my video for TikTok? <laughs> hey, they'll come to feed their heads. You know? <laughs> Could it be? Could it be? Could it be that I've been caused? <laughs> <laughs> but you see what people? What people are not like that too? Ah, what people don't judge. 
He was see, we there for a joint. They know me as a comedian. So this guy, you funny, yo. He said, ah, the guy that passed out too. Swear. This guy, you don't slide your school and food at me. Now, why you doing? Ah, forget to. But people, people can judge. Can judge like mad. But for me, yeah, I said this is the first and this is the last. Many reasons. Parental pressure, they involved. Yeah, truly. My father, in I say they support me. <laughs> is it there? I told him this is the last. He said, Really? Give me a hug. <laughs> I said, Why are you giving me just to console you? For me, right? He said, Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. Every time they see my video, it vex. Five million just prancing about <laughs> on the stage. <laughs> the day I got this, my job. He was so happy. Then I got this. Say, yes, now you have a real job. Sorry, a job. <laughs> yeah, I'm so angry. And one of the greatest parental pressures of my father is that I'm the first son, all right? The man is about 67. All right, calculator. 66. And if you, for, if you do the maths, I came late. You know, he really prayed for me to come. So he gone the feast, he will soon die. After boring at Tinubu, he's like, ah, I can't make it. <laughs> so, he already said, I'll have to do something really quick. So, he did pray from, since when I was 12, he don't pressure me to marry. <laughs> I'm serious. They give me countdown. 10 years more, 9 years more, 8 years more. <laughs> One day, the guy was really concerned. He did, at the end, they complete my mom, I said, Ibuka, I don't know him by any woman. Hey, can run the street. I said, what do you mean? He said, run the street. I said, what do you mean by run? He said, just run the street. Oh, you're funny. That's what I said, run the street. <laughs> Papa. The height of it was when I was in, because now he has given me to December next year, so I'm racing against time, you know. He said, I, I don't give him all the excuse money. He said, don't worry, I'll marry for you. I'll be paying you to be married. Just marry and give me a grandson. And that guy don't cut all the states within Nigeria. Every day he goes add a new one. Like today, when Adama White this thing I will say, you can't marry from Adama White again. I said, yeah. So that's how he was. But I said the height of it was when I was in hundred level. I was just coming. Mind you, I only spent two weeks after my graduation from secondary school and I entered uni. So no time to even run the street. So those two weeks as I enter, you know, young boy, I just entered school. So I enter. You know the talk now. You guys know the talk when your parents bring you to a new level. They will call you. You see, you know the son of who you are. You know they follow bad gang. Don't do this, don't do that. That's what they told me. That's what I was expecting to hear. My father drops me. He says, go and drop your bag. I drop my bag. I come back. My mother is there too. So he would, he would just, he would just, if you say, what's that? It's, remember the son of who you are. When my mother just stepped away, he said, hey, Buka, this is university. Start checking these girls. Remember, five more years. Guy is really concerned. And I think the reason why he's pressuring me to get married is because I give him marital advice. Yeah, I the, the advise him. And he's always angry. Because my advice, they make sense. He's always pissed. Like, who is this guy? Don't worry, you go so enter now. You go do your own. Guy wants me to pressure me. Get married, get married. He wants to just give me. Uh, my father is so petty that I think when we marry, he'll buy us a car. But the plate number will be do him if he is. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't want you. But I said all that to say that when I was younger, when I was much younger, I had an auntie. Her name was Auntie Stella. Auntie Stella was the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. I was just three years old, but she's fine. She's the only one that could ever carry me, and I would stop crying. <laughs> I've imagined ourselves together. You know all those Cinderella things? They, they really affect children, you know? I've seen her as my Cinderella. Sometimes you go forget her slippers. I would think, may I go give her? Maybe I'll be a prince, charming. That's how much this lady was beautiful. She was in her final year in university at the time. But as God will have it, did you know that when she was in, I think like the fifth year, she was in the federal union, she found out she never even matriculated in the first place. So it was like five years of waste. So you can imagine how depressed, how down Aunt Stella was. 
But Adisela found only one consolation. It was in petting a buka. Anytime she just holds me, she feels oh, so good. She feels good. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they laugh like that? It's not normal carry, you know me. <laughs> so one day, one day like that, Tante Stella, she had this, she slept with me and she had no. <laughs> she slept carrying me. You know, and she had a dream. In the dream, she saw me wearing a suit. This is real life. Talking to an expanse of people. And when she woke up, she felt it was a divine revelation. And she told my mom, this boy is either going to be a pastor or he's going to be a choir director. Because those were the only two people that she knew at the time that wore suit and talked to people. So I had that picture. As I was growing, everybody called the wear suit. Rapper, they wear suit. Comedian, they, even Yahoo boys, don't they wear suit? In Victor's, will be, everybody does they wear suit. I say, God. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to happen? So I grew up being wired like that, growing up like that. But as I thought about it, now that I'm grown, I look back and I think whether this will be the first time you'll be watching me perform, or probably the last time you'll be watching me perform, whether it's pastoring. Whether it's comedy, one thing remains sure, that I was born to bring succor to the antistellas of this world. And with that, I hope I've been able to make you feel good. Look here. Yeah. I'm trying to do for the job.